Hey friends, this is Reverend Jerry, the People's Priest, a.k.a. Father Jerry, coming to you today with a new series for the season of Advent 2020 called Advent Word. This is a series of videos that I'm hopefully, hopefully going to do uh, each day of Advent, at the very most, at the very least once a week. Uh, during the four weeks of Advent. And if I like it, I might continue it into Christmas. I'm outside in my backyard. It's really windy, so that might pick up on the sound, so my apologies for that. But it's just so pretty outside. I wanted to sit out here and film f this first video with y'all. My dog is also out here, and he's chasing the light because he thinks he's a cat. Um, so if you hear any barking or scratching or something, that's him. So how I would like to do this is I would like to, uh, each day has a word associated with it. And for more about this uh, series and this international ministry called Advent Word, you can go to adventword.org to learn more about it and to see what other people are doing. So I would like to do this by first opening up with a reading from the scripture for the day, from the uh, Liturgy of the Hours, and then present the word that is for today, then reflect a few minutes on that word. Then we will end with the final blessing. So from the Liturgy of the Hours for the, for the day, our reading comes from the second chapter of Isaiah, verses 3 to 4, my favorite. Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations and impose terms on many people. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they study for war any more. The word of Lord. Thanks be to God. So that's probably one of my top five favorite scripture passages. And I think it's very um, appropriate for today's word, which is deliver. Deliver. Deliver, I think, is a great word for Advent because <clears throat> it has two main connotations associated with it. Deliver as in bring something to you. It's a transitory word. Um, so you move from A to B, you deliver A to B, and then you deliver B to C. But it also has a connotation of liberation, of being set free. Not just moving from one to another, A to B, point uh, C to D, but uh, it has the connotation of, of freeing, of removing something. And I think this passage here in particular really conveys that value, that importance of deliverance, delivering, deliver. That the hope that God has planted into the world that Isaiah is prophesying is that one day we will be free from tyranny of shame, the tyranny of war, of imperialism, of domination. And that we can be delivered from that, <coughs> excuse me, we can be delivered from that when we choose to beat our swords into plowshares and our spears into pruning hooks, meaning quite literally turning our weapons into plowshares, turning guns into gardening tools, turning swords into uh, tools of, of joy and peace and community, but also turning our figurative weapons into plowshares, turning our tendency to be impatient into a tool for patience and understanding. Learning to flow and to grow with the flow. Not just grow with the flow, but grow with the flow. To learn to let people be in process, to be an unfinished work of art or a work of art in transit. So this Advent, we are oftentimes every year when we celebrate the season of Advent, we are invited to savor each movement don't rush too quickly to Christmas. Savor this moment. Savor this season. 
And together, we can really discover new ways that the God of peace is being born in our midst. God who is with us, Emmanuel, is being born in our midst, in us, through us, as us, with us. And in so doing, whenever we deliver, we are making space for that God who is with us always, who is always in solidarity with us, who calls us to liberation. We are making space for that God to be born. Um, ultimately, Jesus, who uh, is the physical manifestation of this God, uh, embodied deliverance by sacrificially offering his life on the cross, ultimately ending in resurrection, which reminds us that our story always be always ends in glory. So this week, as you go forth into the world, remember, dear friends, that life is short and we do not have much time to gladden the hearts of those who journey with us. So be swift to love. Make haste to be kind. And wherever you are, deliver those you are with from the tyranny of shame, of militarism, of violence, of systemic oppression. And you too, and I can all together beat our swords into plowshares, our spears into pruning hooks, and together we will start learn to study war no more. God bless. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Go to adventword.org for more information. Talk to you soon. Bye.